they want me to do it this way. I'm going to have to do vertical today because I don't know what happened. It won't rotate. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you, start off on a couple of things here. I don't know why they have this covered up. So we're here at the Milwaukee display and they started the Milwaukee buy more, save more there. What's up Ernesto and Danny Boyd? Holy God, a lot of people are checking in. So here's really what's happening. I don't know why they covered this up because it's already started on February 1st. But basically the way this works is, and I'm gonna show you guys how we took advantage of that Home Depot glitch this morning. But you see how if you spend 550 or more, you can save 175 right there. See, that's the max that you can save under this program. So if you spend 350, you'll save $50 on it. Now, those of you who saw our live stream this morning, you guys know what happened. Oh boy, am I a happy camper. And I'll tell you why, because let me come over here and find this guy right here. You see this right here? This is the circular saw, the, the rear handle circ saw for 279. How many of you were watching my live stream this morning when I showed you the Home Depot glitch? I was able to take advantage of it and many others were on the live stream, but it pretty much ended by 10.30 this morning. So, so I'll show you, here's the glitch, how it worked. If you took like this tool and I got the 18 gauge uh, crown stapler, if you put it in the shopping cart, it's supposed to take off $175, but for some reason with the glitch, it was taken off $350. So you put, this tool was $279, right? And the nailer was three, uh, $299. So essentially almost $600 worth of tools. You put them in the, in the shopping cart and it made them $228. So I walked away with two tools for $114 a piece. That was a glitch. And as I always tell you folks, whenever a glitch comes up and you're gonna buy something like that, Make sure you, if you can, do a pickup, do a store pickup and not shipping. Because you, if you can get down to the store the second you make the order and pick it up, that way you have it in your hand and they can't cancel the order. So a lot of people have told us, you know, over the, you know, even on decent deals, that the orders will get canceled and stuff like that. Even on something that's a semi-glitch, you know. So, yeah, I see a lot of people checking in. And uh, B, BG says, hey, he was late, too late earlier. Yeah, sometimes it's just luck of the draw. Um, I got my order in probably 30 minutes before they closed the window on it, you know. Oh, wait, and wait, Colton says, Colton Miller says, picked up my three tools over lunch? Dude, that's the way to do it. So I, I took a chance. I didn't get into the store till 11 a.m., and I was fully expecting that they would have canceled the order. So that's how that glitch works. And, you know, it's not all that surprising because whenever... Whenever they do a big changeover like this from an old buy one, get one deal into these newer buy more, save mores, you're likely to see a mistake happen like that. Hey, Gigi cooks healthy meals. He just checked in. What's up, Gino? You guys saw Gene on our Costco video like last month. Remember he was showing us uh, one of the furniture items there? And uh, yeah, if you haven't been to his channel, you got to check it out. He does a lot of good healthy cooking and keto. Uh, but anyway, let me get back here and, and let's take a look at the rest of these uh, buy more, save more. So a lot of those tools that, I'm, that I've been showing you, um, it's basically like this. It's just like I showed you this morning. And we put $550 worth of tools in the shopping cart and we were supposed to only get $175, but it gave us $350. All right. So now, and they do this every year in January. So... They'll, they'll do the, the M12, this is the fuel, but this is only a five and three eighths inch circ saw. That's 149. Uh, the multi-tool is 149. So everything here is like 149. This kit, the eight piece multi-two blade kit is 69.97. Okay, the band saw is 249. So a lot of these aren't really any deals unless you can get them with uh, a buy more, save more. And there's one for Ryobi too that I'll show you in a minute. And there's a buy one, get one, uh, some buy one, get one deals in DeWalt that I'll also show you in a minute. So, you know, they always set these things up every January. There's, this is nothing new here. And same thing here with the rotary hammer, 349. Uh, some of you reported getting this rotary hammer this morning as part of that deal, that, that glitch. And I know some of you got three tools. Some people got two tools. And Danny Boyd says the oscillating tool is probably better than the hobo freight unit. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. And 
all of these same prices as they've, they've always been i like this little kit here i think i'm gonna buy this i haven't gotten this before because i don't think our store had these this is that reaming kit so what you do with this is when you cut copper pipe you use this to to ream off that sharp edge that's left and in case you guys haven't seen these they've had these here last year too this is the little mini copper tubing cutter 1497 it was 1697 before it's not on sale it's just a new lower price and i like these because these are very similar to the auto cuts um but you know what? i like the auto cut better and i'll tell you why because you still have to pinch this and it hurts your fingers to twist these things when it's this tiny like that and especially if they're wet when you're working on plumbing i like the auto cut better because there's no twisting of the knob the auto cut just clamps around it and you keep twisting it like this with your wrist until it cuts through it's just much better so this i'm going to get here and add it to the to my home depot haul um uh, let's see yeah so for 25 dollars you're getting this nice little pry bar here, the 15 inch pry bar with the hammer. And the hammer is magnetic, I like that. And it's got the nail starter built into it, see that? So you put your nail right on there and the magnet holds it in place and you can do a one-handed start. I do prefer a textured head though on the front. Just saying, just so you know. Uh, let's see, There's where's the chat, there we go. I'm gonna make sure we have the chat going. Um, all of these, they, they normally have. Now look at this. I haven't seen these before because we normally have the Weiss or Wiss, I don't, I don't know how you pronounce the other brand, because I had the red, yellow, and green handle ones. Here you have the left-handed aviation snips and everything's down like a couple of bucks from where it was. And you have the straight and you have the right. Now they are color-coded. So the straight has the yellow on it right there on the handle and the green is going to be your right you are most right and let's see what else have we got i'm not going to go through too much of these other things like these little tchotchkes because uh they normally have them yeah. this one's a little different here what's that is that the, the reusable corded ear plugs right there uh they don't have a price on these uh yeah they do is that them nope that's not them they don't have a price on these guys yet now, let me tell you something about these guys here. These, they normally had at Black Friday or, you know, through the whole Christmas season in the tool zone, the gift zone. So these, you shouldn't pay $19.97 for because you saw me last January, these dropped down as low as nine bucks on clearance. Now you, you might see them anywhere from 11 to 14 is about the price where I get off my bench and, I, and I'll buy them. That's the, the range you should look for. Um, let's see, um, let's, oh, see, yeah, we got the caps, uh, let me check what else we got over here, I want to take a look at the Ryobi, um, their little buy more, save more is what they've got going, and again, I don't know why these are covered up, because they shouldn't be, and so with these, let me see how these work. So if you spend $129, you'll get $80, it looks like. I'm trying to see it here. Oh, 30. I'm sorry. You get $30 if you spend $129. And you get $70 if you spend $249. And you get $100 if you spend $299. I would love to see a glitch on the Ryobis, too. Maybe tomorrow we'll see one. I'll have to keep our eyes peeled. Yeah, so here, this is one of them. And um, I have this one here, too. This is the 18-gauge Brad Mueller. I like this one. It's a very useful one. It's not Shockey Gillis approved, but hey, it works. It gets the job done. And if it earns you a buck, you know, it works. Uh, and I imagine all of these other tools on the other side are going to be the same way. And they didn't lower the price of any of these, but at least you're getting that buy more, uh, save more deal. And man, did this thing go up. Holy cow. I thought, I don't know, I thought maybe this was 99 before. I don't know, I might be wrong. Any, anybody ever seen this one at a lower price? Let us know in the chat. And I know, Dan says, what doesn't Milwaukee manufacture now? And Paul from Maryland says, hey, Lowe's has some Craig stuff on sale. Yeah, I'm gonna be hitting Lowe's tomorrow. Uh, what else have we got over here? Now, are these part of the buy more, save more? That's what I don't know yet. 
because they're just setting these display. Yeah, it is, buy more, save more. Yeah, so it's right here. So all of these are part of it as well. So basically what they've done was, okay, now that the buy one, get ones are done from Black Friday, they've brought them out and they've put everything back at regular price again. Okay. And let's see. Anything different over here? Uh, they got the six port fast charger, but I don't think that's simultaneous. Certainly not at $79. It wouldn't be. Uh, nothing there. I'm going to see if they did anything. They brought in a boatload of Ryobi lawnmowers that I saw over in the lawnmower aisle. Full price, but it makes me wonder if there's a sale coming up on them or something. We don't know. Um, I wouldn't even bother with, the, with these little lower-end blowers from Ryobi. And see, the problem with like this kit here... Yeah, it's down $50 from $299. But the problem is, is the blower in this kit is only 350 CFM. And to me, that's just uh, borderline useless. I wouldn't bother with any blower that's under 400 CFM. Okay. Um, I wouldn't get any of these chargers that have the two amp hour batteries, unless you like two amp hour batteries. I like the four amp hours. This is a great one. And this hasn't gone up in two years. This came out like two years ago. This is the power source. Now we did a tool review video on this, comparing this with the Milwaukee and a similar unit from DeWalt. I love this thing. This saved our bacon when we were at Disney World. This charges our phones because you got the 120 out, but uh, and also the USB. So this was charging our phones at breakfast while we were at Disney World because our batteries were dead, dead in the water. This is called the 150 watt power source and it runs off of a Ryobi battery. <clears throat> So that's a, that was great. And then um, uh, somebody's phone was just completely dead and we had to leave it in the trunk charging on this thing. So that, it did a great job. It saved us. So let's see, anything else useful here? So none of these are on sale. I mean, they got these big posters up in that makes you think like there's a sale prices, but these are not really sale prices on here, on any of these here on the OPE stuff. We, we hardly ever see anything major on the OPE unless you can make... Uh, I, I haven't checked to see if any of these are available on the buy more, save more. <clears throat> Here's a good one here. I like this charger. This is the supercharger from Milwaukee and it's $99. That's it right there. So this one will charge an M12 and an M18 battery. I, I like this when you have a combo charger like this. And it says that it charges it in two hours, or one hour on the supercharger. And it's faster than the rapid chargers, which do it in two hours, and the standard chargers will do it in four hours. So this is a one hour charge. It doesn't say anywhere, I looked on the package, I can't tell if it's a simultaneous. So you guys will have to let us know. And it is brand new. This one just came out. I had not seen this particular one before. And let's see, Mr. Bergson said, those blowers are no good. Try to use them for my kids' detailing business. We upgraded. Yep, to an ego. Yep. To me, you can't have enough CFMs on a blower. Um, now, this is interesting. They finally got around here to putting the chain here, the replacement for the M18 hatchet. See, because I have this. Well, they didn't have this last year. I had to order it online. <clears throat> Because uh, I wore the heck out of my chain, big time. Um, let's see. So their blower tool, their M18 tool right here, is 219. And I'm trying to see what the CFM is on there. If they're telling us, uh, it doesn't say. Oh, this is this is the new model too. And then they have the trimmer as 229. So let, like none of these are are on special. I'm just glad that some of these did not go up in price. So for example, um, when we look at the DeWalt, this pressure washer here is the same 499 that it was last year. 3400 psi. That's what you want to look for in 2.5 gallons. And they have a surface cleaner too, 18 inch surface cleaner. And 149, and this will handle up to 3,700 PSIs. So this will handle even a bigger pressure washer. This is the one I have. 
we did a tool review video on this uh, last year, I believe. And 2100 PSI, it's plug-in, it's electric, and I use it on my car to do the car washes. And I, I hook my soap cannon up to it because the soap cannon can run up to 2100 PSI, no problem. And it gives you real good thick uh, shaving cream type soap. <clears throat> so let's see, any deals on the electric pressure washer? So that's this one, Paul was asking. And and Mark said, my son just went crazy when Jeff said our name. Good marketing for the detailing. Thanks, Jeff. Cool, Mac. Great. So, yeah, this is a great one for electric. And I also have this one from Ryobi. Is this the 1800? Yeah, the 1800 PSI. This one went up in price. I believe I paid either 79 or 99 for this one when it, when it came out, when I got it a couple of years ago. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit overpriced, but you're, but you're talking, you're talking like half the price of what DeWalt is though. I mean, so it's up to you which one you want to get. They're both equally as well. They're kind of cumbersome in the fact that what do you do with the big hose? There's nowhere to store the hose or anything. It doesn't reel up like on this Ryobi one right here. Now, speaking of, you know, Shaka Gillis always likes to tell us, you know, Ryobi's trash, but... If you are going to buy a gas-powered Ryobi pressure washer, this would be the one to get. And I'll tell you why. Only because it has a Honda mower, uh, a Honda engine on it. That's the only reason. This is essentially a Honda pressure washer. But now, look at the price. $4.99. They're getting big for their britches. If I had the choice between them and the DeWalt at $4.99, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going with the DeWalt. I don't know. What do you guys think? Anybody bought that one and used it? All right, so I want to go in the back now, and we want to take a look at some of the uh, Milwaukee. There's some buy one, get ones, I believe. And there's some Milwaukee buy more, save more. And there's some DeWalt buy one, get ones that I want to show you real quick. So this is the, the new deal. This went up on January 30th, a couple of days ago, and this comes down on May 1st. So the basically the way this one works is if you buy this M18 combo kit up here for $399, that's the two-tool combo kit, they will give you this free M18 battery. This is a XC 8.0 kick butt battery. And if you buy this M12 combo kit here, they will give you the M12 Red Lithium XC 5.0 battery. I love that battery because if you have the rocket light, you pretty much want XC 4.0 or 5.0 or 6.0 batteries. You don't want to mess with any of the other ones. They're just lightweights, okay? And then what they did here is they bundled up a couple of other battery deals. So you get this one here. These are the two CP 3.0s on the M18 platform. And it has a new lower price now. It's right there down to 149 from 179. These are not on sale. That's just a new lower price. Okay, and then I don't see the other kit here. Uh, I don't, there's a couple of them that are missing here. <clears throat> so here it is right here. See that? The two M12s right there in the pair for 99 bucks. Those are CP 2.5 amp hours. And then that other one right up there. See the 149 there? Those are CP, is that the one I showed you? Yeah, the, that's that one. The one I don't see is the, is the big one. Oh, yeah, it is right here. So this one right here is the XC 8.0 battery right there. That is, it says 229 here, but it's marked down to 179 right now, all right? So I wanna go with the back here and let's take a look at the other dudes that they had on sale. And I have to apologize for a little bit of a shakiness here because I'm having to hold it vertical because for whatever dumb reason uh, once, once in a while when we go live YouTube will freak out and it won't rotate the camera for us okay so here's the Makita deals so they're doing a buy one get one and so the way it works is if you buy that kit right there for $239 that's the 18 volt drill uh, the drill driver and the impact driver remember that's not a hammer drill uh, and it comes with two 3.0 batteries, right, for 239 If you buy that kit, you get to choose any one of these tools here. So it's kind of almost like the buy one, get ones are continuing, <clears throat> you know. 
So that's essentially how that works. And I'm going to post links to all of these down below in the video description when I get back. And then also, you may notice in the lower left, well, you won't see it now on the live stream, you'll see it later. There's a little button that says product links or view products. If you click on that, I'll, I'll try to make it so that it opens up direct links on the right-hand side of the video. It, it expands outward and you can see all the uh, products, you know, at least most of them that I mentioned. Here's the buy one, get ones on the DeWalt. And so the way this works here is if you buy any of these tools here at their normal standard price, you can get the free 4.0 amp hour battery, which is this guy right here. So it's normally $169. And this is this is that higher, uh, I guess it's in the smaller platform size. Okay. Sorry, we got these noisy people that come and buy here. Some people, that they just don't care how loud they are when they're in a store. Anyway, and also if you buy two tools from any of these tools here from DeWalt, you get two 6.0 amp hour batteries. That's these right here. Now this pack is normally, this pack is normally $199. Okay. So you're getting two of these guys. And so here's the tools that you get to choose from here. So one of them here is the Recip saw, um, the SDS rotary hammer, the DCD 999, which is the flexible advantage drill. I have this one. I've been using this for the last two years. Nice drill. Of course, the jigsaw that everybody knows and loves here, the 335B, um, the router. So it's kind of like they did a reverse, you know, in um, Black Friday time frame. They were doing all of these buy one, get ones um, where uh, you'd buy a kit and then choose one of these tools free. Now they've reversed it and it's like you buy any one of these tools and you get to choose either one of these two uh, battery kits depending on how many you buy. And you know, I was just looking at this, you know, the Milwaukee here. The, this one here, look at this price, $9.98. How many of you guys remember three years ago, maybe it was four years ago, on Black Friday blowout doorbuster, this was like $575. You're talking over $400 less than it is right now. That, in my opinion, was one of the best deals in Home Depot history right there and mr innovator says hey jeff is hd doing the new tool activation yeah like glows i don't know i haven't seen anything maybe they don't warn you maybe it just but you know what it's stupid because the guys that come in and steal this kind of stuff they're stupid they, they don't know yeah it's not, they're gonna grab a tool and run out the door and they have no clue so I, I question whether it's really going to be a deterrent in theft. So the way it's supposed to work is, I guess, if they leave the door and it hasn't been act deactivated, the tool just won't operate. Um, here's that rapid charger. Now, many of you guys saw the deal they had last summer where this was $199, and it came with two batteries, making it worth about three, $300. But $149 is still a good deal for charger only. That's still a pretty good deal. Uh, now I want to show you the clearance, Clarence. Roger, over. As we come over here, um, now remember, a lot of times when they're getting rid of the Christmas stuff, they drag it over here and not everything is on sale yet, but some is. Now here, for example, right here, you see this DeWalt 21 degree framing nailer right here? This thing is down to 169 from 279. That is a screaming deal right there. Now I believe these may have been as low as 229 or something during Black Friday. I can't remember, but 169 is it, this matches the lowest price we've ever seen this at. Like four years ago, I saw it at that price. Okay, uh, here you got 79 dollars for the Ryobi Cirque saw. Uh, let me see if any of these others have dropped. I'll show you one that did drop that I got here. I put this in my cart because this is a simultaneous charger right here. See? See, charge two batteries at the same time. So I'd, li I'd like to get one of these. I've never had one of these. And I, I also, it also comes with a two amp hour battery. So this thing here, look at that, 49 bucks, man. The normal price is 99 on this. So you bet I jumped on this deal. Okay. 
simultaneous charger. It would have been even sweeter if it was a four amp hour battery. I don't particularly like their two amp hours. I like to use the bigger ones. Um, now these, they brought a bunch of these over here. The Speed Demons. Now this is a decent kit here. Um, I'd like to see this price a little bit lower on that kit. And if you want the smaller version, now uh, that was uh, 16 pieces. This is a 10 piece kit for 1288. That's a decent price. I don't know how much these are gonna get down to. Sometimes they have to sit here a couple of weeks before like the, it's like an hourglass and the price starts eroding away. Okay, now I wanna show you this. I remember buying one of these last year and giving it away on our on our giveaway. So this is the Makita, the 16 gauge, two and a half inch nailer, right? And look at that price, man. Pretty much half off right now. Say, if I had a lot of money, I'd buy a bunch of these and just give them away like I did last year. Um, and look at this. I didn't even, yeah, we have this pass load here. So this is a pneumatic nailer, 18 gauge cord. Oh no, this one's cordless. This is a, the lithium ion one. For some reason I thought it was the pneumatic, but look at the price on this one here. 170 down from 339. There's a score and a half. Now, some of you are gonna be looking at this on the video and trying to type in these numbers and search. And I can tell you a lot of times since these are clearance, they're not gonna show up at that price, most likely. In fact, they may not even show up at all. A lot of times I find that most of the items in here don't scan in on the Home Depot app. I always have to have an employee scan it with the Home Depot scanner that they use here. And so a lot of times you're just going to have to come to your store and look for the clearance section or see if they keep it out with the regular tools and then get it that way. Oh, damn, look at this one. Here's that Makita lawnmower. This is the 36 volt, 21 inch self-propelled and i'll get you the model number on it in a second and i'll show you what the price is hang on let me set this up right here so there's your model number but look at this price man 449 down from 629 on this one so that's a kit right there that's a nice little clearance deal right there uh Rapunzel says, I love my boy, Clarence. Okay. Now, on this side, they bought a bunch of other stuff over here, too. And so look at this. I'm looking at this Milwaukee kit. The price is not too bad. And what's funny is over at the front of the store, I saw a bunch of these at 49 So it's really weird the way this stuff works, or the way they move stuff around and price it. And I would like to see it a little bit lower, but yeah, this is not a bad kit. I like the little case that it comes in and you can see all of your blades and where they're at. So yeah, that's that's one to get. Um, I don't I need to check the price on this. I don't know if this one has come down in price or not yet. I don't know if 179 is a buy or not. So yeah, this one is the multi-tool. There you go, right there. Oh, let me set that right there. Uh, let's see if they brought anything else out and lowered the price in here. It doesn't look like it. We got a bunch of Diablos here. Oh, wait a minute, look at this. So we have Milwaukee's top off. I've never seen it this low here. 120 bucks down from 149. So I also own this. So if you remember earlier in this video, I showed you that Ryobi version, that Ryobi uh, inverter. And uh, it was, uh, that's, these are the two that I did the tool review video on. So, but this one comes with a battery too, see? So this makes it even much more valuable because that battery alone is probably 149, right? So to score both of these for 120, I think that's a, a pretty good deal. That's one I would probably go for. If I didn't already own one and don't need a second one, uh, anything else there? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, so th that was a good score on that uh, that lawnmower there. Let's see if we have any other questions coming in about this. What's wrong with the Makita lawnmower? Nothing. It's it's probably um, <clears throat> it could be they're making way for a new model, or maybe this was sitting on the shelf left over from 
Christmas, even though I don't think there was any lawnmowers in the in the Christmas flyers or anything like that, the Black Friday flyers. Uh, this one I haven't checked to see if this is a good price or not. Uh, this is the car cleaning kit with a 14 foot hose on this one, 34.97. See, so there you go on that. Um, anything here of significance in price? Oh, they got that pressure washer rotating brush from Ryobi here. See this guy here? That's $21.97. I don't know if that's a good price. I haven't checked it. This one looks like it's significantly lower. Look at this, man. So you have an airstrike. Is this the 18 gauge? Yeah. It does up to two inch. This is the same one I have. And look, it's down to 99 bucks from 139. I think I bought mine a few years ago, uh, th three years ago, when it was part of a buy more, save more summer deal. And here they got something for rigid. Oh yeah, this looks like a drywall. Kind of like the, uh, what's the one I have? The, Sen the Senco. So this is a three inch collated screwdriver here. And look at the price on this guy here, pretty much half off. And here's another one that's really low priced. So here is their brushless SDS rotary hammer from Rigid, right? And there's their price, like less than half. That's a pretty good price, yeah. One hundred and thirty dollars would be half price. This thing is way less than that. So they they got some pretty good clearance deals this time around. And I was hoping to find uh, those those uh, Milwaukee red colored uh, carpenter squares, but yeah, I have enough. And we gave away probably three dozen of those last year because you guys saw me every time I came in, and they had them on sale. I was snapping those things up like nobody's business. So, let's see what we got here. So we already showed uh, the rapid charger there. These are nothing. These are just, I guess they're putting more stuff behind the cages now. They, these are fairly new here. We've had other ones up front. And I'm gonna take a quick walk down the little tool storage aisle and see if there's any other deals coming up there. So, um, I'm hoping to finish my Costco video. I don't know if it will upload tonight or it might be probably tomorrow. So you folks want to look out for that. And we're also working on a Sam's Club video as well. Uh, let's see. Anything here on sale? Nothing. Not us. It's just all quiet down here. And anything on... I want to see what they've got for the miter saws. And you know what? This particular store, man, they, I think, made a mistake and ordered way too many of these Huskies. Look how many they got here. And just boatloads more here. Unless that's their new, <clears throat> their new style of buying. I'm like, it's like, man, they overdid it. Overdid it. So yeah, you bet we're going to be looking really hard tomorrow for any more uh, glitches. And just, you know, if you ever see that alert come up from me or from any of the other channels, pounce on it right away. I try to make sure the word glitch just appears right away so you can see it and it doesn't get cut off. And if you ever see it, don't go, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get to it later. Or you, you, I don't care what you're doing. Boom. Stop what you're doing and watch that video and look for the links and try to take care of it, you know. Okay, so nothing else here. All right. So then, so that was an interesting night, huh? Some good bargains here. And then what a glitch day that was. If you were able to take advantage of that glitch that we told you about this morning, hey, let us know in the comments below. I want to find out from other people. I want to know how many people were able to take care of that, all right? So anyway, Rapunzel says, your videos are awesome. Well, thank you so much. And by the way, did you guys see that video I uploaded last week? about that college apartment complex up in Kansas that's ready to collapse and nobody's done anything and they haven't been condemned or shut down. You should watch that video. I uploaded it last week there. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us and we'll see all of you on the next one.